Firstly, congratulations on Finding Dory. It's Thanks. an adorable movie. Um, it's really, really funny, but it's not your first time voicing an animated character. Am I right in saying that? Uh, you are right in saying mm -hmm. that. I've done it a couple of times. I, I did it, mm -hmm. yes, yes. I can't remember what the other ones were. <laughs> there was, uh, what was it, uh, Arthur Christmas, I think. Arthur I Christmas, that. yeah. And then some <laughs> yeah. other one, yeah. But this was the one, the main, the main one. And, mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, and I'm, I'm hoping to do some more. Okay, well, good. I always kind of wonder what it's like for an actor, you know, who they're in a scene with another actor, so it's easy to act. What it's like, what is it like going into an actual sound booth and trying to record lines for an animated character that you can't see, let's say? Well, uh, that's true. I mean, I think I think Andrew had sort of mock-ups of what of what uh, Rudder would look like, so mm -hmm. I think I had a vague idea of that. And uh, um, but I was actually in the room with Idris, which really helps of because course. that's not always the case. And uh, um, and I wasn't in the room with Ellen or, or any of the others who we interact with, but so it was. But there was a certain degree of, of rapport. I mean, a, mm -hmm. hopefully, a, a large degree of rapport because Idris and I were in the same yeah. room together and looking at each other. And it was a the reunion I think that a lot of people were waiting for. Oh, good. Was it something that was set up? Was it you know we're going to get Idris and we're going to yeah, get yeah, Dominic yeah. and we're going to do this? You know what I mean? As a part of like a shout out to the wire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I think Andrew. He had these two characters, sea lions on a rock, and mm. he, I think he thought it would be funny to get, I think he thought it would be funny to make them English, and he thought it would be funny to get me, you know, mm. McNulty and Stringer together, yeah, yeah, yeah. being English. Yeah. And uh, I loved the idea. And did you have any sort of idea, the two of you going in, how you would characterise them? Because for me, looking at the two sea lions and seeing them, it was like, it could be Phil Mitchell and Grant Mitchell and EastEnders, <laughs> you know, walking to the Queen Vic, kind of two geezers, two sea yeah. lion geezers. Did yeah. you have anything in your heads for how you'd portray them? Uh, I, I suppose, well, I suppose Andrew just said, I think they should be London and Idris is London anyway. So, um, you know, I, I suppose we discussed for a moment whether I should just use my accent and Idris should use his, but no, you know, it was definitely much, yeah, it's sort of, yeah, it's sort of propping up a bar in, East, in the Queen Vic, yeah. it's perfect. And I, mean. I, I felt that a Gareth, the sea line was a little bit like, you know, Billy Mitchell, you know, you right. kind of, you know, you kind of, you terrorised him a little bit, so yeah. you did, but yeah. it was good fun anyway. Oh, it was great, yeah, yeah, yeah we had a great time. Good. And family is obviously a massive theme in Finding Dory. Uh, your kids, have they seen Finding Dory? Were they fans of Finding Nemo? Absolutely, yeah. Love Finding Nemo, and were really excited at last to, for me to be in a film they could watch. Mm -hmm. And um, we all went along yesterday, so we went. Did you? We, and was I it strange to them to hear their dad? You know what I mean, voicing this kind of lazy and a little bit weird uh, character. I don't think they knew like... it was me. I can't, I'm just me. Hey, this is me. They didn't seem to realise my two-year-old wasn't in the least bit interested. She yeah, was yeah, looking yeah. at trying to, you know, she was trying to get over there or something. But yeah. they, so she missed it. So, but they've got the uh, toy. Mm -hmm. So hopefully uh, they'll watch it again and okay. know it was me. Brilliant. Well, Finding Dory is going to be a movie where a lot of children will see for the first time. Like Aladdin was the first kind of animation that I saw in the cinema. Right. How about yourself? Do you have any cartoon that when you were a child kind of sticks out in your memory? Well, I, so many, I suppose. Um, Jungle Book really sort of, mm. sort of, but maybe that's because I've been watching the Jungle Book ever since. Um, but I, all of the, the rescuers, I remember, and all the, you know, the... Um, Dalmatians, all those ones, I remember. I, I love mm. it. I, I watched a lot of them and, and, uh, mm -hmm. and love them. Are you surprised that Finding Dory is as big because it's been so long since Finding Nemo came out? It was 2003, wasn't it? I think it was yeah. 13 years, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not surprised, I'm not mm. really. I think, I think Andrew's been under a lot of pressure for 13 years to make a, to a make sequel. Mm. Um, and what's great is, you know, I was talking to my nephews on Sunday who said, uh, who are sort of in their 20s, mid 20s, and they're, they're just as excited about it as my sort of six-year-old mm -hmm. boy, and um, and I think you know it's a, Nemo is one of those. It's probably the biggest classic mm -hmm. kids' film of the last twenty years. I don't know, but it's it's such a huge film that it, it was a, such a huge part of people's childhoods and mm -hmm. and and um, and and huge part of people's parenthood really because it's the one thing you can put on and make and mm -hmm. know that the kids will be quiet even though they've watched it fifty times. It's true. Is there any chance of maybe a spin-off for yourself? I think and it's a great idea. Yeah? I think it'd be absolutely idea. brilliant. Ellen Especially now with everything that's going on in the UK as well, you know, yeah. Brexit, yeah. two English sea lines yeah. over on the California coast, yeah. you know. Being glad they're out of, yeah. out of the old country. <laughs> yeah. um, yes, no, I think Ellen was saying that she, uh, she's been, she'd been campaigning for this sequel for 13 years, so mm -hmm. maybe in 13 years' time we'll get Andrew to uh, 
to make a uh, Rudder and Fluke oh, uh, spin off. I think it would be absolutely brilliant. I think, that, I think it would be, I think there'd be massive with Gerald. For I mean, we'd go all. The, yeah, it'd be great. Get two hours of that. No problem. <laughs> Poor Gerald, yeah. Anyway, thank you so if not, much. Idris and I will take it on the road. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you so <laughs> much. Thanks a lot.